I just got a text message from my buddy and he needs a couple of bushings for a plow on a truck and it's going to take a while to get them so I'm going to try to whip up a few for him on the lathe. Um, so yeah, I figured I'd make a video of it. It's a pretty simple project, should go pretty quick, but I thought I'd film it anyway. I found this piece which is, let's see here, get a quick measurement of it. It is two inches. Uh, the next size that I have that would work would be this stuff, which is 2.2. Two and, and I don't think I have anything that's, yeah, 1.38. So I will have to make do with the 2-inch piece. Got a new blade on this bad boy, so it should go pretty quickly. There we have it. This pass is just to remove the rust and to make it uh, true. I'm not uh, worried about getting to any specific size at the moment. Pretty close. Another ten thou. I'm gonna go try to get a light that I can shine on this so you guys can actually see. Apparently I wasn't recording a bunch of stuff. So I flipped the work piece around and now I am removing the rust and scale.
Well, that's the kind of finish we're getting, which is fine for now. I will probably switch up the speed a little bit once we uh, get closer to diameter. But for right now, we'll leave it like that. So I need to take 583 thousandths, divide it by two, 292 thousandths. All right, so I'll make this zero. Call that zero and then we can kind of keep track of it from here I'm gonna to try to take a 40 thousandths cut which will be 80 thousandths in total and see what happens if it uh, starts doing something real nasty then I'll I'll have to back off but uh, it's gonna take a long time to take 292 thousand so we'll call it 280 and then I'll start watching so we'll Dial in 10, 20, 30, 40, and hope for the best. Get some oil on here. Judging by the color of the chips, I'm going a little a little heavy. I should probably back off or I'm going to dull in the tool if I haven't already. But uh, <laughs> it's leaving kind of a funny pattern in there. And uh, I think I need to change the angle of the tool a little bit as well. But um, anyway, I am going to back off to 30 thousandths for this next cut and uh, see if we get uh, any difference in chips. They're actually breaking off really nice, but they are turning. I'm not sure how well the, the camera will pick this up, but they're kind of turning a little bit blue. Okay, I've sharpened the tool and choked up on it a little bit so there's not as much sticking out. And I'm going to start taking, let's see, so we need to take seven two hundred thousandths. I'm going to start taking uh, thirty thousandths cuts dry and see what happens. Ten, twenty, thirty. how much difference a sharp tool makes so yeah these are the these are the chips they're not nearly as hot and uh, yeah I'm not using any lubricant at all so it doesn't make a huge smoke 
which means I don't have to run my ventilation fan, which means it doesn't cost as much to heat my garage. All right, we're gonna take 15 thousandths this time to get to 400, or that's kind of around 400. And then we'll go from there and sneak up on the finish diameter. So I'm gonna slow down the feed rate as well. I'm going to start taking 25 thousandths per revolution. Go, yep. C2. All right. And we're touching there. So if I cut that dimension all the way through, it should be good. speed of this up. Alright, not going to argue with those results. Do square off the end of this. I will switch tools to do that because I have the right tool inserted in this. We can break the edge with the file. piece around clean out the jaws of the chuck I wonder what kind of run out we have I wonder how bad my chuck is <laughs> I don't want to know actually let's uh, 
let's just pretend it's good. Five thousandths. That's unacceptable to me. It's high right there. There we go. We are within two thousandths or less there. That's one one thousandth of an inch. Forty one, and we need to get to thirty eight. All right, I'm going to take that off the full length of it. center drilling bit, pop it in here, This is the finished result. Got it down to uh, final diameter. Drilled a three quarter hole out in the center of it. And uh, the finish on it actually turned out quite nice in the end. 
it has some marks in it from the jaws, but they won't be a problem. So that is the end of the video for today, and I will see you guys next time.